Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sibylla. If you're new here, I want to say welcome. If you're returning, I want to say thank you so much for coming back. Once again, I know I sound like a broken record. I want to make sure you guys have gone and listened to my two tracks, Kisses and I Need a Man. They're both on all streaming platforms. So make sure that you go and give it, give both of them a listen. So today I wanted to talk about, you know, books and resources that I use to um, help me with my music journey, you know, help me to, to, to keep me motivated, to keep me, my mind, you know, in a nice stable state. I know that um, if you haven't gone to a music school or music college or done like a music course, um, the chances are you won't have had access to the materials that you know those professionals have have um you know spent a lot of time like researching and i figured out which ones work and which ones will help you um so you kind of don't know where to search and it's kind of like a trial and error situation which is what i've kind of gone through so over the years i've gathered a few books i've read a few books i've been suggested books by friends and um I thought I'd kind of bring that over. I just want to kind of help you out with the with the with the books, the podcasts and, you know, kind of what I do to kind of keep me motivated, to kind of keep me abreast with what's new in the industry and how to do my marketing and all those things that's kind of involved in music because, you know, sometimes you spend your life thinking about, you know, writing the songs and, you know, making sure you produce them and record them. But after that, there's so much more that needs to be done. And it's, it, it's a long journey and you always want to get better. You want to, you know, be the best that you can. So yeah. So yes, that's what this video is going to be about. So, um, let's start with this book, the most basic music business for dummies i bought this one because i thought that um it would be a good idea i thought you know everything that i needed would be in here and you know it'll be straight to the point kind of summarized for you and it is in some ways it is summarized it, it does cover quite a few things i have a few as you can see i don't know if you can see that but you know a few little tabs that i've, I've kind of put in there and it gets it kind of covers the music business marketing you know maintaining like a successful career all that kind of stuff and it is a pretty good book it kind of gets straight to the point but yeah i feel like you can read this but you definitely will need other books um this next book is writing better lyrics now this is a good book this was suggested to me by my um my friend and he used this book and i did enjoy the book to be honest it's a good book but i don't know i found it a bit hmm what's the word i don't know i find it a bit i found it a bit boring to read like I, it does get to the point but it does i haven't finished it that's that's just the honest truth i haven't finished it I did feel like it was a bit boring. It kind of te teaches you techniques, like it tries to get you in the mindset of, you know, writing regularly, you know, so thinking about music first thing in the morning so that you are, you know, your brain is constantly working rather than like sitting down, you know, saying I want to song write now you know if you kind of wake up in the morning think about songs think about what you want to do it kind of plays in your mind over the whole day and it kind of gives you like exercises to do so that you are constantly thinking about music and you're writing at least every day so um it depends it might work for other people it didn't really work for me um it just felt like hard work <laughs> i think i will try it again um but for me at that point, I was already writing. I had my own techniques of how to write and this just felt like work. So yeah, try it if you want to, maybe borrow it from the library, see if you like it first before you actually like commit to buying it. So yeah, that's that one. Um, so the next one is another, I think it's like, I don't have this book. I, I don't know if you've watched my other videos, but I talked about the fact that I had a fire and um, I think that book died in the fire. Um, so it's all you need to know about the music business. I will kind of put something over here. <laughs> so this book is 
one of the, the classic books that everybody has um, and everybody has kind of read and it's a really really good book because it kind of covers everything it's kind of music business for dummies but the proper version so it's not trying to like run through everything really quickly so it's a really good book it's a big book it can feel very intense because there's just so much to do um, so I, I would suggest that that book you kind of read it as you kind of go along and um, yeah it's a good book it covers it it covers the basics of music it kind of covers how the music business works which is really really good some of the stuff in there is kind of old but the the main information and how it all runs is still very relevant so i think that's something that you should read and you know give it a go now we're going to get to the good stuff which i absolutely love the books that i'm reading at the moment and absolutely think are amazing and that's this one six steps to um well, to songwriting success uh i love this book this book is amazing this book for me is a lot more engaging like in comparison to this one this is a lot more engaging i i absolutely love this book it gives you so many examples it breaks down how they're different types of songs and different formats of how you do it and i feel like the book starts off in a very interesting way and it kind of gives you examples it makes you listen to songs there's so many examples over so many different genres right at the start of the book in the first chapter uh, it just kind of gets you in a good mood and it makes you do exercises in a way that's a lot more fun and it kind of breaks down the ex exercises into like small chunks that just makes it so good but it also opens opens your eyes it's the kind of book that you read this book and you're telling your friends who aren't even musicians about it you're educating them on music and songs and how they work and it's such a good book and you know a lot of the stuff depending on who you are you do naturally anyway as a songwriter but if you're not a songwriter um this is also a kind of interesting book like if you haven't started you know writing songs it really does break it down um you know right from the start so it's really really good books I, I absolutely love this book so the next book which i absolutely love and this will kind of be in i guess two parts is this amazing book by ari herstand very bad at pronouncing his name but i love this book it's how to make it in the new music business now this is why this for me would be the main book i'll tell you to buy if you're kind of wanting to get into like the music business if you're trying to like start writing songs and you know do this whole thing this is the book for you actually these two as a combo this is the combo right here um i absolutely i love this book it's amazing this book it's all the tips that you need to kind of build like a loyal following you know making a living out of being a musician it kind of just breaks it down because it kind of asks you what do you want from music i feel like all the other books tell you about the industry and all of that stuff but this book actually makes you sit down and figure out what do you want from music you know because people see success as you know beyonce level whitney houston level you know drake level all these big artists and that is what success is to other people that are not in the industry if you're not in the charts if you're not making millions and you know selling out tours and just constantly doing it that's not how you know that's not successful but that's not the case there's so many ways to make money from music there's so many ways to be a musician and this book really just helps you to figure out what you want to do and then it talks about marketing it talks about the new ways that people are doing it because you know the old books you know there was no spotify back then you know it was still cds it was still all of that it talks about the music industry but this tells you how the music industry has evolved and kind of just lets you know what to do tells shows you how to do it marketing on instagram on TikTok, on on facebook all these things didn't exist before these things you know are, are brand new so the music business has changed and this book it looks massive but it's amazing this is like the greatest thing ever so yeah if i were to suggest one book to buy it would be this bad boy um so yeah we're kind of moving away from music books at the moment and we're going to go into marketing this book this is marketing this is an amazing book it just helps you it doesn't just apply to music 
right it doesn't just apply to music but music these days involves a lot of marketing because it's not something that maybe you would have had to learn before because you know how music worked was you get a record deal and you know they deal with the marketing they deal with everything that you know you deal with everything that comes with you as an artist all you have to focus on is the music making the music writing the songs and doing what needs to be done but now these days you have to be everything you know especially at the start so this helps you with marketing and kind of tells you how to kind of grow your fan base and you know or grow your brand and all of that stuff that's involved with music making so yeah you need to kind of read this you should read this this will kind of cover marketing but if you really really want to get into marketing and have a whole book that's dedicated to that um this is the one for you um so another book that i absolutely love and i feel like you know we need this is not a music book but this book feel the fear and do it anyway i feel like there's so many motivational books like this that you know we should read that really just helps you because as musicians you're putting yourself out there your ego is involved your insecurities are right there outside and there's a lot of fear that's involved in it and it just breaks it down that every single person feels fear and people have different ways of dealing with it but you also have to deal with it so on those hard days where you want to post something on instagram or you want to put out a song or you're thinking about you know shooting a video and all those things that are involved with it this is like a perfect like little pick me up just to remind you that this is always fear is always going to be there but you have to do it and you always will feel better on the other side and that is the truth with everything like anything that you want to do in life you will feel nervous about or you know apprehensive but you will always feel better when you do it and this book is like I read it, I, I remember what is in there, but sometimes I forget about it and I like to go back to it and just read it again and read those examples of people that have pushed through and the examples of things that we say that holds that holds us back from doing things. So yeah, you need things that, people that give you that little boost. Anyway, I said there's a double whammy to this book. This guy, Ari Herstand, he also has, um, a podcast which is the exact same it's called how to make it in the music business and it's available on all stream streaming platforms and i absolutely love that podcast because it covers a lot of examples of different artists so you can be listening for about an hour and let me just pull up my phone you know you're listening for about an hour and he's covered so much all sorts of things re different strategies that different bands have used different you know people different artists it talks about publishing deals it talks about how to kind of make it on TikTok and how people have made it on TikTok. you know nfts which is very brand new it's all these very brand new concepts you know in music and in the industry and it kind of covers everything and there's so many examples of artists that you might have never heard of that are so successful that are making a living out of of, of music that have their fans that keep them going and you might have never heard of them but they're making money from music they're making a living off music and that is absolutely absolutely amazing it covers producers it covers artists it covers you know people that deal with marketing all sorts of different examples so yeah you should definitely check out this podcast i absolutely love it there's always one i think every week or every two weeks so it's something new there's a lot of backlog for you to kind of go over and enjoy but yeah i absolutely love that so for now that is all i have for you that is you know the podcast that i absolutely love i also listen to like motivational podcasts on here as well i i listen to paul better with paul he's amazing as well like he kind of gives you like these affirmations that you kind of do in the morning and in the evening and that's great and then i also listen to lovey ajayi um, jones who is a fellow nigerian and she has the professional troublemaker love that and it just shows people that are fearless and go for things and do things and you know she's always writing books and it just kind of it kind it kind of motivates you and just reminds you that you know everybody's nervous everybody's scared but we do things so there's so many different things that i do but these are the books that i suggest and i suggest number one for sure this book because i don't know if you're a guitarist if you're a producer if you're a singer whatever you are this book covers everything so yeah get this book how to make it in the new music business 
Um, and I, I also suggest get this book. <laughs> Susan Jeffers, feel the fear and do it anyway. Um, so yeah, those are my suggestions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, um, yeah, I'll be back with more videos very soon. And yeah, if you have any other books that you're reading and you want me to know about me to try out and you know, really works for different things, please, please, please let me know. Let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know that. I'd love for other people that are watching this video to know that and to kind of engage. So yes, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.